You're listening to the ESO Network, your station for all things geek. Hello, welcome to episode 155 of the Soul Forge podcast. Welcome to the Soul Forge, a place of silent mystery, quiet contemplation, and outright mayhem. Join your host, Sean Vanderloo, as he guides you through the adventures of living. Together, we'll talk about life and love, sex and dating, joy and heartache, memories and loss, and so much more. Don't worry, it's not nearly as pretentious as it sounds. Get ready for life, the universe, and everything on The Soul Forge. Welcome back to The Soul Forge Podcast, gang. I'm your host, Sean. With me today, I have a special guest. How are you, Heather? I'm good. How are you? I'm fantastic. We have, what would you call it, a... Uh, a controversial topic this week? Yes, seeing how we're going to talk about something where there was a lot of outcry about it on Facebook. Backlash? Yes. Mm-hmm, definitely. So, uh, for a bit of context, even though you know that the episode is called uh, Fat Shaming Backlash, what happened was there is a, would you call them a power couple? If Timmins had power couples, I guess they would be one. Okay. Well, it's... Um, are they married? Yes. They are married. Okay. Yes, they are definitely married. So her name is Jess. I don't know what his name is. It's you... her tattoo. Is that what it is? I can't remember what his actual name is because he didn't introduce himself to me. Okay. And now it's bothering me that I can't remember his name. I have no idea what his name is. I'm going to call him Dennis. <laughs> I don't think it's Dennis. It's not Dennis? I feel the need to look it up. Okay. Well, you look it up while I give our listeners some background. Mr. Tattoo's real name is not Dennis. It is Billy. Okay, so um, Jess and Dennis uh, own Pure Addiction Tattoo Studios here in Timmins. It's the probably the number one tattoo studio in town. They run promotions. Everybody likes to go to them because... Well, does he tattoo? No, he does not. He does not. He's, he just manages her. He manages her. Okay, so she's the, Jess the tattoo lady, and she charges uh, probably the highest amounts in town sure if she actually does though because I got a price quote on the tattoo that I did get done by Jess and they were comparable. Okay. The other, they, are, they make you feel like she charges something outrageous but really it's pretty average. It's pretty average. Okay. Well they, they've been in town for what six seven years roughly? Probably. Okay. So anyway uh, they're, we're going to call them the premier tattoo couple in town. He doesn't do anything but uh, she does all the work. And uh, they've started a podcast, a video podcast, over the last month or so. And what happened was they, in their latest episode, released what would be considered, um, what would you call it? Controversial, mean, uh, rude content? Yeah, they didn't think before they filmed. Right. Yes, they they didn't, well, yes, they didn't think before they filmed, and then they didn't think before they released the thing. Yeah, you think they would have thought that through, at least the second part. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's important, because when you, when you run a business, uh, it's probably a good idea to keep any controversial opinions to yourself. So, uh, they have gone silent on the social media. I believe their Facebook page has been um, deactivated, is that right? Yes. Which is a little unnerving when you have an appointment booked with them and you can't get a hold of them because their phone tells you to contact them through Facebook and Facebook says your message didn't go through. Right. So that's what's going on. They, they made these uh, negative statements and uh, people were outraged and the video has been watched 65,000 times. I, ch I checked recently. And that's what it's up to, 65,000 views, wow. which is a lot. Mm -hmm. So they went viral. Good for them. Actually, what we should do is probably play the um, audio segment in question. Yes, I think that'd be good. Do first, as a full-grown adult, would you rather be 
60 pounds or 600 pounds. Mm. Mm. Um, so I'll give you the percentages of what you guys voted on. So 87% said 60 pounds and 600 pounds was 13%. So I'll start this one off. Yeah, go for it. Okay, so. What are you taking? I'm taking 600 pounds. Oh, wow. I know, and I, that's like not the favorite at all, mm -hmm. but I feel like it's such a big deal. Okay, for one, you can eat whatever you want. Sure. It, yeah. right? Okay. Like, wouldn't okay. you like that Well, you've obviously been eating whatever you wanted for a very long time. Well, for, yeah, if I got mm -hmm. to 600 pounds. Yeah. Yeah, I've never really had the feeling of dieting, which is kind of nice, because dieting is really hard to do. Um, also, I think you no one would ever be mean to you. No, they couldn't. Well, no, because like, fat shaming is a huge deal. It's a sin these days. It's up there with murder. It's pretty up there. Yeah. Like, it's one of the, it's now the eighth deadly sin. Is that right? Seven deadly sin. Sure. Eight. Okay, anyways. Um, I think it's a ten. I think you're talking ten? seven world ones. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Okay. Um, also, TLC has got so many TV shows about what kind of person I would be. So that would be a plus. I can become famous. I don't think there's any with like a full grown 60 pound. You know, they're all bigger people, mm -hmm. which, you know, that's plus. I think if you're 600 pounds, you could be on a TV show. You could be featured on National Geographic with <laughs> the other hippopotamuses. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's me. Well. <laughs> that's not okay. okay. Okay, well, what about Okay, clothing-wise, a 60-pound full-grown person, you'd have to shop at Baby Gap. Like, as a full-grown adult, that's not okay. That's really not. Okay, I would you Okay, Baby Gap. Shopping at Baby Gap would suck, sure. But would it be worse... Would it be worse to shop at Baby Gap, or would it be worse to make yourself a tankini out of a car cover? <laughs> Oh, hon. Well. No, that's not okay. So you're going with. I'd rather be 60 pounds. 60 pounds? Yes. Okay, well, I guess everyone. You don't want to be everyone's so. worst nightmare when they see you enter the buffet first. <laughs> you don't want to be Maybe. everyone's worst nightmare. That, okay, that that has happened. Yes. That's I've true. seen that we, before. We've experienced that. That's very true. Okay. But I'm just talking <laughs> about basic tasks. Like when people want to play a quick game of hula hoop. Yeah. You'd need. An Olympic-sized round trampoline ring. Oh. That or you'd get okay. the hula hoop stuck on your third stomach and you'd just have to do 360s. Okay. That's... I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Your ankles would hurt. Okay. You yeah. Need to, you, I mean, yeah, your hula hoop would definitely cost you a lot of money, for sure. No, and so, would your, so would your grocery up. bill. <laughs> your grocery bill would suck. Okay, well, there's pros and cons to both sides, I think. But... We'll okay. leave it there. Thank you, Crystal. I know. <laughs> I know. All right, so if that isn't uh, a bit of a bold couple of statements by these two, I don't know what is. The, uh, there's nothing really good you can say. There's no positive spin you can put on it. And it's really bad when you own a business that has to do with body modification. Yes, and, and we live in northern Ontario. Uh, there are a fair number of large people here. I'd say it's probably not any more or less than in other places, but... But there's, there's been, like, news articles about the obesity of Northern Ontario, so yeah. it's, it's a thing that's here. Yeah, it's cold. <laughs> it's, it's cold, so we have to have layers. We have to have layers. It's cold. Yeah, we, we do. We have to stay inside. <laughs> yes, so, so Jess and Mr. Tattoo, who we, you looked up his name, we still couldn't find it, Dennis, just because, why not? Uh, Jess and Dennis, um, they, they've gone into hiding, I guess. But can you blame them? No. I would be hiding. Yes, because what they thought they were doing is they were promoting their business. We're going to do a video blog. It's going to be awesome. We're going to talk about ourselves. We're going to talk about our opinions. We're going to joke around. We're going to make light. And they pick the wrong topic. They even state that they... She wanted to be the... She picked being 600 pounds because people couldn't make fun of you because of fat shaming. And they didn't think about the fact that that's what they were doing. Through the whole three and a half minute video. And he's the worst. That guy, Mr. Tattoo, 
And, and people have made fun of him because he was wearing uh, glasses with pop-ups on the top when they were flipped open. And he has a stupid square beard. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I, I don't know what to say about Jess. She, she seems like a flighty twit. See, I haven't had any dealings with her uh, personally. I, I went when Bridget had her tattoo. And I was uncomfortable in there because it, it just didn't seem like a, a friendly atmosphere. And you've gone once or twice? I've gone once. I've had some communication with them over uh, Facebook about tattoos. Um, I have a second one that was postponed because of COVID, and before that it was postponed because I had an injury. Although what they said was hurtful, I'm probably more likely to forgive because I don't think anyone would be dumb enough to go out and ruin their business like that on purpose. I just don't think they it, were thinking. Because they, they are still young. Are they? Yeah. They're, um, they're in their late 20s, I would guess? Yeah. Okay. Early 30s, maybe? I don't maybe. know. I have no I idea. I don't know. I just know that she was... My friend got a tattoo by her when she was 19, so... Okay. Even if they've been here for a decade, that still makes them young. Sure. And, yeah, stupidity and being young, I don't know, it doesn't really write it off. Because what they said was hurtful to a large group of people. Yeah. That Was that a pun? <laughs> It oh. wasn't meant to be, but it's funny. <laughs> that was pretty good. A large group of people. Yeah. Yes. Uh, now, you are a self-described chubby kid. Yes. I was a chubby kid. I've always had issues with my weight. Even when I actually didn't have an issue with my weight, I still thought I had issues with my weight. Okay. So that's something I've always struggled with. And I didn't grow up in a, play, in a time where sh fat shaming was frowned upon like it is now yeah like that was the norm being called like fatso or you what, know whatever they decided because you became of came of age in the 80s as did i born mm -hmm. in the 70s and yeah so it was and it was, and in the 80s yeah bullying was common i was bullied all the time yeah. not not for being large but for looking geeky or having big ears or whatever it was yeah, whatever it was, they were going to find yeah. it. They were going, if you weren't one of the cool kids, well, the rest of you all know what we mean. Actually, most people listening probably know what we mean. <laughs> By not being a cool kid? By not being a cool kid. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So bullying was a common thing. Yeah, fatso, uh, lard ass, uh, you name it. You probably heard it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, you know, I still struggle with body image. Most days. I don't need anyone to say anything about weight because I repulse myself enough. And no. I know that's going to get people to be like, well, you should love yourself. And, and yeah, I get that. But I live in this body. And I think people that are thinner forget that, like when they make stupid ass jokes. We're not, when you're a bigger person, you're not um, ignorant to the fact that you're a bigger person. We do have to walk around in our bodies and find try to find clothes that... Fit nice. So it's not a surprise. Yeah, it's not a surprise. And that's why, like, personally, I've made jokes about my weight to my friends. And they'd be like, oh, no, no, no. But they forget the fact that I'm standing there when they make fun of the other fat person who happens to be smaller than I am. Ooh, is that happening lots? Yes, because people are kind of stupid sometimes. That's like, why I said... Like even I, now? Like even now. Yeah, I'm 40 and even now. <laughs> wow. Um, people... Don't pay attention to what they're doing because they often don't include their friends in the group that they're making mm, fun of. Because right. my friends don't see me as fat. They just see you as Heather, your yes, friend. my friend. Like when I look at a picture of me, I go, ugh. My friends don't see that. They see me. They're like, oh, there, there you are. That was a fun night. Right. I'm just like, ugh, that's not a very good angle. Look at the horrible outfit I was wearing. Yeah, like, that kind of thing. Right. Yeah, mm. and I think it doesn't matter what size you are. You're gonna have. You're gonna Everybody like that. picks themselves apart. But um, so you've you've had one tattoo from them already. Yes. And how was the experience while you were there? Um, when I went in, I had been warned before I went in about him. Okay. What about him? That he can be rude and um, make fun of other people. And was he? No. He was very professional and polite. Uh, I had to fill out paperwork, and then he he left. Jess came out. Um, I remember thinking, she's so tiny. She just kind of floated across the floor from one place to the other because she was in a hurry. Mm. And she wanted to get me into the back. And she was polite and courteous. And 
when she was doing my tattoo, she was very quiet. And I'm okay with that because if you're draw if I'm drawing, I'm going to be quiet. So if you're tattooing me, you want you want her to concentrate. Concentrate on what you're doing. I'm good with that. Mm -hmm. um, so she didn't make me feel uncomfortable. She didn't make me feel like I was being judged. And to know me is to know that I am the girl with the big ankles. Because even when I was thin and didn't know I was thin, I've always had big ankles. So when he said that, I'm just like. No, you can be the girl with the big ankles and not have the big boobs because I don't have the big boobs. I always had a bit, a bit of a booty, mind you, but, you know. Okay. And I didn't have to stand and twist. It was just there. Ah, <laughs> uh, gotcha. Okay. But, yeah, I, I think I'm quicker to forgive if I can get a hold of them. Right, because you have paid a deposit for your next tattoo. Yes. And when is the tattoo scheduled for? Uh, it was rescheduled for September. Okay, and as we're recording this, it's the beginning of June. Yes. And even after this video went up, I messaged them to say, you know, I thought it over. I still want to have my tattoo done by you. Um, I tried to make light of the situation, but I didn't get a response. Right. And, and then when I tried to message them again, I got the response that my message couldn't be sent. Because everything's been deactivated. Yes. But you know what hasn't been deactivated? This podcast promo for another podcast right here on the ESO Network. We are Nerdlanta. We got these filters. I think they're called pea poppers. That's, oh, that's for that's popping exciting. peas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For, for popping all the peas. <laughs> Sweaty balls, balls and, and pea poppers. poppers. Sweaty Sweaty balls 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 time. Time. <laughs> Can a podcast be a reboot? Oh, God, Absolutely. yes. Nerdlanta, yes. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. We are highly calculated at a late, 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 late hour. You know, it's just always, always fun to talk about geeky stuff. stuff. And Nerdlanta is, is the place, place to do, do it. it. I guess that's it. We played a promo. So. Okay. That was an awesome promo. And how was that for a transition? Perfect. Because you can't forget to play another promo. No, that would be rude. That's right. So back to the tattoos. How much did you pay for your deposit? Um, I paid 150 because I'm not getting... A big tattoo done but there's some people that are looking at getting thousand dollar plus work done work done and deposits back right because right? I've read before their page went down I did read some comments and I, there was one girl I was shocked she needs she wants her five hundred dollar deposit back somebody else it was over a thousand dollars for a deposit for a deposit wow. which means they're getting some serious work done yes and now they're no longer comfortable with the thought of them looking at their body. That's the other thing with me. I'm getting it done in an area where I'm not, it's my leg. So if I wear shorts, you're going to see it. So mm -hmm. it's not like I'm having something done in a, in a really private area. And I think if I had been going there to get it done, um, like a sternum tattoo or maybe on my pudgy ribs, but, uh, if I was going to do that, I would be really second-guessing whether or not I wanted to take my shirt off. Right. And show those areas that I would be... Less proud of? Yes. Okay. Um, let's say you still want to get your tattoo done. If you had not paid your deposit, would you still go to them if they reopened their shop, or would you choose another place? Because uh, she's considered one of the best in town. Yeah, she is. She's... she's and... When I look at the work she's done, she's done some really nice work. But we also have other tattooists in town. Um, I've had a tattoo done by other, another couple of people. Okay. And, and I love my tattoos. That's why I get them. Right, and, of course. And I've been lucky enough to, to go to talented people. So if I hadn't already given the deposit or I hadn't already had a good experience with them... If I was just thinking, okay, this is the first time I'm going to see them, I wouldn't. You wouldn't? I wouldn't. It definitely okay. would have. But if you are able to get it done, you're going to go get it done by her. Yes. You're not going to get your deposit back. You're actually going to get the work done. Yes. I would still get the work done, which I know is a little controversial. Would you get another one by her later on in the future? Or would you choose somebody else? It's really hard to say. Like when you, when you heard what they said. How did it make you feel inside? Oh, I was angry. Like, I had a, you know, you, you get that knee jerk, like that gut response, like, you're not a comedian, and mm -hmm. that's not funny at no. all. No, I was disgusted and flabbergasted. Like, I don't get flabbergasted. 
That's not even a word I use very often. But the fact that I was watching this video and hearing what they were saying, and they were not joking or laughing, they were, they were being completely mm-hmm. serious. Yeah. Like, like, they're not self-aware. No, it was like looking into someone's house, but it was made public. Ooh, I'm not supposed to be seeing this. Yeah, like, but, ooh. But they released it on purpose. Mm-hmm. So people would see it because they thought they were hilarious. Yes, and I'm sure there's people that were watching it live and feeding them and making them think that it was a good thing. And I was actually surprised by how many people were upset. Because, like I said, I didn't have that growing, growing up. up. <laughs> right. But now... Everybody made fun of the fat kid. And now it was like, whoa, 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 whoa. You, you can't do that anymore. You can't be saying that. Mm-mm. No, like, because all lives matter. Every Everybody's important. Uh, there's still the occasional goofball who makes fun of yeah. people for being handicapped or larger or smaller or who knows what. And I think, too, it depends on... Like I said, if I'm watching a comedian, I'm going to expect there to be... I'm still going to expect there to be that kind of humor. Of course. And And it can be funny if you're not... How do I say that? Okay. In the right context of a comedian, like a show, when they say, if they're talking about their friend or whatever, Mm -hmm. there's like a personal connection, but it's not directed at anybody in the audience. There's a difference between making fun of your friends and making fun of somebody you don't know. Well, that's true. they made it more personal to people who were listening because it wasn't like, oh, you know, my friend Jamie. Yeah. It was, yeah, I wouldn't want to be, I'd rather be underweight than be overweight, which, you know, it's still not even cool for people who are underweight because that's its, its own struggle for people. <laughs> of course. You know, like I went to school with people that had the opposite problem to me, mm-hmm. you know, and the other thing was the guy goes, you know, when you take out your 600 pound date. Right. And, and then you have to go to the tarp store to, and like the, thi- what, like, no. And, and, you know, I don't mean to sound rude to my skinny friends, but... I'd be more concerned about paying the bill for my some of my skinny friends because they can eat a hell of a lot more than I can. That is true for the most part. Skinny mm. people do eat a lot and don't gain mm. the weight for some reason. Yeah, mm. like, they can do that. I can't do that. <laughs> I used to be able to do that. Not anymore. No? No. Is your, is your girlfriend putting a little bit of extra on you? Uh, she is feeding me well. With that good cooking? She, she is a good cook. Yeah, so there's that. Um, so yeah, I do have to watch what I eat, somewhat, even though I'm a mailman and I can walk it off. And you have to remember, for you that don't know Sean, when he says he can eat, he he could eat a fair amount. <laughs> yeah, I've eaten dinner at your place several times. Yeah, you and Johan. Mm-hmm. Big guy, little guy. Yeah, your, your husband's a, a big guy too. Yeah. And did he watch the video, or did he have a reaction? Uh, he was not happy, and I think he would prefer that I got my money back. I can understand that. He, he was outraged and incensed. Yeah, and... As a lot of people were. Yeah. So, that is the local happenings here in Timmins <laughs> over the last week. Uh, a bit of controversy. Uh, a lot of memes going around. Oh, yes. They're mean, but they're funny. They're mean, Because but... memes are meant to be funny. They are. They are. And uh, I actually have one in my phone right now. And I'll just pull it up here. And it's a picture of them from the video with a picture of Hitler underneath. And the caption says, Talented artist, judged people harshly for looks in public, took their money and tattooed them. That's a pretty dark one. That's a pretty dark one. Also accurate. Yes. Uh, I wouldn't compare them to Hitler necessarily, but there are similarities that you could dredge up. Yeah, they were going to get rid of all the fat people. And it sounded like they might want to. Unless they had to choose. Right, of course. Because Jess would come and be one of us chubby people. There you go. (laughs) There you go. So overall, in conclusion, if you have an opinion, maybe keep it to yourself. Uh, If you feel like releasing it, maybe get somebody else to look at it first. Yes. One of your impartial friends. Yes. That would would be... Or literally someone who does not share your sense of humor. Uh, Yeah, and... um, Maybe don't be a business owner if you're going to say something stupid. Definitely that. Right. So, uh, anyway, that's what's been going on. Thanks for being on the show. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. Listeners, 
would love to hear your feedback and your comments and all the things. Uh, remember, you can donate at coffee.com slash rusted soul. Uh, go to soulforgepodcast.com for all the social media links, the donate button, the email, the YouTube, all, all the, the things. things. All the things. That's right. But until next time, take care and remember, you are enough. Now you need to believe it. Thank you for listening to another episode of the Soul Forge Podcast. Your support is greatly appreciated, and we hope you'll tune in again next time. Remember that you can visit soulforgepodcast.com for all of our social media links. And don't forget to share the show with everyone you know. The Soul Forge Podcast is your best source for living your best life. Think about it. This has been a broadcast of the ESO Network. Be part of the crew and help support our shows by donating to our ESO Patreon or by shopping through Amazon.com or the Tee Public Store, which can all be found at www.esonetwork.com. The ESO Network, your station for all things geek.